Hello friends, this video on crop production and management part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about soil preparation. So why do we need to prepare the soil for cultivation? So let us see what it is. Soil too needs a preparation. Now whenever the word preparation comes to your mind, one thing that must be striking you is preparation for exams. Now, if you don't prepare before taking up your exam, do you think that you'll be able to score well? Not really. So you need preparation before you appear for an exam. Now, who helps you in your preparation? So now, you are very busy studying, but still you need somebody's help while you're preparing for exams. And who helps you to prepare for your exam? Either your parent, maybe your mother or father, or your teacher. So a teacher helps you in preparing for your exams. Now, when you are well prepared, you are definitely going to do well. If you are not well prepared, you are not going to do well. Now, in a very similar way, soil also needs preparation. And who helps in the preparation? A farmer helps in the preparation. So now, as I said, if you are well prepared, you are going to do well. And if you are not well prepared, then you are, of course, not going to do that well. So in a very similar way, soil also needs to be prepared. And who helps in soil preparation? Yes, a farmer. So the role of a teacher is performed by a farmer in this case. And your role is being performed by the feed or the soil, whatever you call it. So this soil needs to be prepared before growing crops on that soil. So the soil, if the soil is prepared well, in that case, the crop productivity will also turn out to be well. If the soil is not prepared well, then the crop productivity will also not be well. So what do we do in terms of soil preparation? What exactly do we do with the soil? So that is what we are going to see next. So what are the activities which are done for preparing the soil? Plowing, watering and leavening. These are the three important activities which prepares the soil good enough for cultivating crops on that soil. So we will talk about each of these now. So let us start with plowing. So what do we mean by plowing? It is loosening and turning of the soil. So what now we mean by loosening of soil? Now if you would have ever observed that normally the soil becomes quite stiff and hard. I mean, not as hard as a metal, but otherwise the soil is quite hard. It is not very loose normally. Now, loosening the soil becomes very important at certain times. And that process of loosening of soil is called plowing. Now, let me give a, a, a picture on the screen, which will help you to understand what do we mean by loosening. If possible, just go out to your garden where maybe even if you have a small plant, a small tree planted on a pot. So just go there and look at the soil. So you, if, if the soil had not been loosened recently, you will see that the soil is quite leveled and it is a little hard as well. It is not very soft and very fluffy. Now, if you take an object like this, so which has got a handle kind of a structure and a sharp end on the other side. Now, using these kind, this kind of a sharp object, if you start kind of digging the soil, what happens? You see that the soil tend to become loosened. So, the soil actually becomes fluffy. So, you feel that you dig it with that particular object and you see that the more spaces get created within the soil and that is why the soil gets a fluffier appearance. So this is known as loosening of soil. That means we are actually trying to loosen out the soil particles. Now earlier they were like extremely close to each other. Now we are just trying to make some distance between the soil particles. Now how does this loosening of soil helps? I mean why is it required as a part of soil preparation? So we will see that a little later. Later, we will try to understand the importance of plowing but this is what is meant by plowing now it is not only done on big fields only for for cultivation of crops it is also done on a smaller scale for example if you have small plants in your garden if you really want them to grow if you really want them to give good flowers or good fruits in that case plowing is important so you Quite often, maybe over a period of a couple of weeks, you will have to plow the soil. You will have to loosen the soil. 
This is also known as the process of plowing is also called as tiling. So this is just another name for plowing. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.